Hey guys, Kev here, and psh, I got some new Kaisers for you to check out. So, uh, Kaiser sent me this batch of knives a while ago, and it just took a minute for them to get here. They were actually, actually supposed to get here even later, and it looks like they are going to be for sale on January 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern. So, I will put a link down in the description to Kaiser's website where they will be available. I'm guessing it'll just be there, and then maybe dealers will follow, but I'll put links in there. You can use those. It helps the channel if you do, but I'm just going to rip through these, show you guys each knife, maybe give you a brief thought, and then um, move along, because I got four here, and I plan to do reviews on these, at least the ones that um, I find the most interesting. So this one is the Crypt. Cryptid. The Cryptid. I thought it wanted to say Cryptoid, so I, but it's from Christian Kneet. Might be Neot, or uh, maybe the K is silent there, or Kiat. I don't know. Sorry. I apologize for my ignorance. I haven't reviewed their uh, sheet yet that tells me about the designer and everything, and I'll try to uh, include that information when I do an actual sort of review video. So what we have here is another button lock. Man, it does not end with the stream of button locks. Now, I say that, and then we have a button lock in the works with Kaiser, so it is what it is. If I could go back in time, I would not do that. Um, I want to work with Kaiser, love them. Just, man, the button locks are killing me lately. This looks, uh, kind of has the vibe of the original from Kaiser, but then it goes kind of off the tracks here, which is pretty cool. So I like that. Um, you have the budget clip. You got some uh, satin hardware here and thumb studs. Nice. That felt good. You have, oh, yeah, very comfortable knife. Look at that choil, dude. My finger just like slid right up in there. That's what she said. You have this jimping right here that locks you into place. I'm a little bit up there on that edge, but man, that feels really good. You guys know I love a sheep's foot blade. There's that button lock working. The spring in here is nice, I gotta say. Um, this feels pretty dang good, considering that the studs are not even tucked into the handle. Imagine if it was tucked into the handle a little bit, but... Yeah, it pops. You have a machine satin finish on here. I'm guessing 154 cm. Yep. And there's your logo right there. You got a little octopus. Cryptid. Drops. Yeah. Reversible clip. Very Kaiser original, you know, build quality and feel. But different design, and I like it. I like it a lot. It's very comfortable in the hand. Friday night gas station grip's good. So that's the cryptid. Digging that one. We have the task from Nick Consoli. Nick Consoli. They do a lot of stuff with the community. So a lot of these guys could be knife collectors turned designers. Um, could be knife makers that I haven't heard of. Lots of stuff that could be going on here. So I do apologize that I don't know everyone and everything when it comes to that. We have the uh, Kaiser Friday Club sticker. We get extra screws. No extra springs. This one's a clutch lock. Let me check that. I did ask Kaiser to send me some stronger, like a set of stronger springs. So I have a few. In case I ever want to swap them out. Um, but this is the task. Looks like so far we're rocking black micarta. This is interesting. Look at that. You're like a freaking hook right there. Clutch lock, reversible clip, satin hardware, same exact build. Probably 154 cm. Studs are tucked in more on this one. Okay. Um, we have another sheep's foot blade. Hails to the yes. Fires pretty well. Yeah, I mean, that works really well. Let's try the reverse flick, lefty. Yeah. I mean, the springs are definitely not strong, 
but because of the location of the studs, you just get a really good pop on that. Ergonomics, again, super comfortable in the hand. You do have a bit of a choil here, not quite as much as you get on the cryptid. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's a little smaller. I mean, it feels smaller for sure, um, but it still works for your general cutting purposes. Another sheep's foot blade. I'm really digging these guys. Uh, what do we got here? 154 CM. There's your logo on this one. What is all that writing? Hang on. 200.250 H.11 W. Width and height? What the heck? Width of what? I don't know. That's interesting. I'll, uh, maybe that sheet will tell us something that I don't know. Or they left that on there. Or I don't know. It's part of the logo or design. But I like this a lot. So, so far, we're two for two here from Kaiser. Um, I'm going to save this one for last because I know what it is. And I'm excited about it. This one, I believe, is an updated Veritas with a titanium handle. And let's see. This is a black version, I think. We get some extra hardware, which is nice. Good to have those extra body screws. Yeah, this is the um, black ugh, GLC Veritas. Wonder if they made any other changes to it. Oh no, I'm seeing that lightning Anna and it makes me wanna hurl. Ugh, run. Um, hold on. Let me get this in there. I love the filler tab on this thing. It's just so well done. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, thank God they didn't do it on the clip. I just don't like this. Uh, that's, uh, lightning anno. That's not Timascus or anything like that. So this should not be, uh, much more expensive if at all. And we have pretty good action on this one. That's nice. Yeah. I remember on the OG, oh, did you hear that? I remember on the OG Veritas, um... You kind of had to put skiffs in it um, just to make it feel a little better. This feels pretty good. I'm going to see if it has play or anything. No play. Let's see if it's centered. Pretty centered. Yeah, looks good. That's nice. Fires. Yeah, this will break in nicely. So it is a frame lock, so left-handed, you know, you got to just stay off the lock bar, lower down a little bit. If you come up here and rest on it, it makes it a little bit tight. Um, I'll show you how the clip works because I am going to flip this over. It looks like T6s. I know everybody wanted T8s on this, but you get what you get and you don't complain. So how the saying goes. So that right there should pop out oops the clip and then i thought there was a barrel i think it's just a tab let me get that out so that comes out and then you use something to push this guy through i believe yep it's coming out there it goes push that through this guy pops out of here you flip it over and you put it in the other side. Carefully. Man, it's really tight there. It kind of just went right in. Look at that. That's insane. Drop the clip on in here. So you do end up with an external screw, which I was talking to Colin about this. He's my business partner with Devo Knives. And we were talking about doing a clip with no with an internally mounted clip. And I was thinking, if you're going to do a reversible clip, but you want to do internally mounted, whatever, right? It almost seems like the better thing to do would be to have the clip be um, sterile over here and then have the screw go through the filler tab, right? 
But if you really think about it, wouldn't it be better to have the screw in the clip and have this side be sterile? Because normally this is on the other side. Then your show side is clean and you have a screw on your clip, but that's your lock side, right? So it's almost better that way, I think. Um, but anyway, there you go. That's how you reverse it. Real easy peasy. Man, really good knife. I do kind of wish they would have sprung for uh, real Timascus or something on this. But it doesn't look bad. It's an accent. You know what I mean? Um, I'm kind of, you know, I'm a little obnoxious about the lightning anno thing. But this isn't bad because it's, it's an accent. It's not... Um, It's not the primary colorway on here, so I think it's fine. But just so you can see the difference, this is this is a Zerkutai backspacer. So, I mean, it looks good. It gives that appearance, but, and it's breaking in already. Any play yet? Nope, still solid. This feels like one I, I won't even have to touch. You can roll this one back. Man, it's such a thin knife, too. They did such a good job on this. Jacob crushed this one. I love this design. Shout out to Jacob Lundquist. Okay, so that's the Veritas update. So we're three for three right now. And this last one is the gavel, baby. This is from Luke 10 Tech, a.k.a. Mark Perez, a.k.a. New Breed EDC. My boy, I'm excited about this one. Is this the, the month of the black knives? Is that what we got here? <clears throat> nope. This one's got burlap. A little different here. Extra screws. The huge. So this one's got these brass collars. I'm not a brass fan, but, you know, I can let it go here. Um, I would love to see that be in titanium, but it's brass with micarta. Looks like burlap steel. Liner lock design, smaller knife, definitely has some weight to it, and this minimal flipper tab. Let's hope they got the detent right. Okay. Um, you have a machined satin blade, and there's that burlap. I don't love that burlap. Kind of looks a little poopy. Um, but the knife, yeah, the knife, comfortable in hand. You got the New Breed EDC logo over there, gavel. Let's see No lock stick. Man, that is a minimal flipper tab. Look at that. Just completely tucked away knife right here. And you just have that little flipper. Detail feels pretty damn solid, too. Oh, almost got it. <laughs> there it is. I got her. Don't you worry. Let's try it lefty. Yeah. Uh, I would not suggest doing that. There's a lot of oil on here. Hold on. Let me clean that up. It's starting to stick a little bit. Pretty sure it's just from the excess oil there. Yeah, I mean, look at that action, dude. Looks center to me. No play. No rock. Lock bar access, pretty good. I mean, you can, yeah, it's good. You can get in there. Wow, milled clip, pretty simple, but it's gonna be a good clip. Reversible, ah, oh, you sons of bitches. This one was screaming for a reversible clip. Liner lock and everything, come on now. Yeah, if this was, Think about this. If this was titanium and that was weave carbon fiber or fat carbon or something, yeah, hopefully this does well and then they decide to do that on a second run. Uh, hollow grind would have been nice, but we don't see those from Kaiser very often. It's a nice flat grind. Really like that spear point, drop point design. That's, that's clean. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Good job, Mark. Wow. Some absolute bangers this month i honestly i love all of them so you got the cryptid you got the task that's probably my surprise one 
Didn't really know this was coming. Does this have the clutch lock? Hey, let's, um, since, you know, I'm keeping this short and all, let's check this out. So, T, so they did T8 on this one. Interesting. So you should be able to just unscrew this. Unscrew this. This should come off. So that is set to the strongest tension already, right? Because if you go higher, obviously it gets stronger. So that's set to the highest tension already. So what I need is a stronger set of springs if I want to increase it, which I don't think it's necessary on this one. Um, I just wanted to see if, it, if it's possible I'm going to do it. But if they send me that batch of uh, stronger springs, then I'm definitely going to be doing it. But this will probably be in my pass around by then, so who knows. But uh, centering looks good. Man, dude, I got to tell you guys, the clutch lock, the clutch lock is an amazing thing. Uh, it's impressive to me how Kaiser has gotten it to where the knives are dead centered every time. And you can just remove the pivot, remove the screw, the scales, and everything lines back up perfectly. This is a sick knife. I really like the task, guys. Then we have the Veritas from Jacob, an updated version in DLC. And uh, this is S35EN, DLC, and some Lightning Anna, which I'll admit, I actually kind of like this time. I know. The world's coming to an end, that's for sure. Um, is that? That's not tapping. That's close, though. I might have to tweak that. But And then we have the gavel. For Mark, I mean, look at that action, guys. Yeah, I mean, even with the brass and the burlap, I mean, it's a really nice knife. I just think titanium and carbon fiber, it would make it lighter. Um, the detent on this, I think, is probably perfect. I think, personally, I would go just a scotch stronger, but you really shouldn't because if you go stronger, you're going to start fighting against that flipper tab a lot. You know what I mean? The way it's set up is for you to just drag it, right? You just drag back. Um, and it's like an infinite push switch, I call it. It's not quite a push button because you can't push in. It's not quite a light switch because you're not pulling that way. You're just dragging down, basically. So it's a push switch, I call it. And that's perfect. Really comfortable in hand. I mean, maybe slightly thinner. And then the other materials. And I think this would be like perfect for me but it's fantastic the way it is so hell yeah all right there it is guys let me know what you think i'll probably hit up full videos on some of these um uh, and we'll see what happens but uh thank you to kaiser check out the drop on the 2nd of january at what did i say 9 p.m eastern love you guys hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later